Hello and welcome. Welcome to the Midweek Radio Chat. My name is Carl. I'm 2 Echo Zero, Echo Zulu Tango. I'm an intermediate uh, licensed operator from the UK. For those of you who are new to the amateur radio hobby, there's three licensing schemes in the UK. There's the foundation license, which is a bit like the beginner's license. There's the intermediate license, which is the one that I'm on at the moment. And then there's a full license as well. And um, in previous videos, I did call it the advanced license, but it's actually called the full license. So um, what I usually do in the midweek chat is just to briefly go over some of the videos that I've got uh, currently ready, edited to go out. Uh, talk about some of the videos I'm about to shoot. Uh, and then tend to uh, look at some of the comments coming into the channel. We get some fantastic comments coming in. The, the news this week is I've now built two of my two meter halos and I've started to put together the two meter halo stacked halos. Um, I've made a slight mistake in that I haven't got a T-junction so um, I may just order a T-junction rather than actually splice any uh, coax together. So uh, the 2 meter halo it's still prototype, it's version 2 but it's still um, early days for it. So at the moment the stacked halo looks a bit uh, ugly but uh, as I said to the wife on the wedding day it might not look very pretty but it gets the job done. So I hope to uh, get out on the air with the uh, the stacked halo and give that a, a test. Um, so that's coming up in the next uh, week or two. Uh, I'll be getting that on camera, uh, testing the, the stacked halo out, halo out. So over the past few videos, I've been uh, testing out some different modes, like Feld Hal, PSK31. Uh, but, and recently I've also got into APRS. Um, and packet data. Uh, so at the moment I've been, on the past few videos, I've been just trying and to see what I can do on, on APRS because um, it's, it's a mode that's been around for many years now and packet radio has been around for many years and, and, it, and it's, it's a fascinating um, part of the amateur radio history. Uh, for anybody that's interested in uh, how stuff works like the internet and mobile phones um, you, you, it, a good place to look at is actually history of packet radio um, I mean we currently use the AX25 um, uh, packet uh, protocol format um, uh, the X25 has been around for many years back to the 70s it's you know, the precursor to the internet as well so for those of you who are interested in uh, communication and the communication history uh, a good place to look at is actually in packet radio so um, over this past couple of weeks I've been just delving a little bit more into uh, APRS and packet radio uh, this weekend just gone, there was a HF contest, and I, I'm not knocking contests or anything, but uh, HF was unusable, really. Um, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't interested in joining the contest or not, so the best thing you can do when a contest is on is, is actually do something else in the hobby. Uh, you know, if, if you're not interested in, in getting involved in that kind of part of the sport of the amateur radio is to do something else build an antenna get outdoors or you know whatever it is uh, so this weekend i took out um my a couple of handhelds and um just did a bit more aprs from high ground so that video is currently being edited that come out in a week or two anyway so i've i've started to really get interested in in packet radio and and to see how active it's, it is in the 21st century. So if there's anybody uh, watching this video that has an interest in that part of the hobby or has a, a deeper understanding of packet radio in, you know, in, in 2019, please get in touch. I'm interested to find out more. Um, I've been looking around. I've, I've found something quite interesting here from the, the anonymous, uh, um, you know, the hacktivists. Uh, they developed their own, uh, probably well, illegal anyway, but they, they, they've built their own air chat using packet radio. 
using a secure packet radio so this is a, a hacktivist group that are actually using amateur radio techniques and, and um, skill sets to develop their own packet radio I thought that was really interesting that even in the 21st century uh, quite a te technologically advanced um, activist group uh, is also using um, uh, parts of the amateur radio hobby such as packet radio and so um, I've got a couple more videos coming out this oops I've got a couple more videos coming out this next um, few days um, on Friday I've got part two of the uh, the bug out testing the bug out location so this is a VHF part of the video um, last weekend I released the uh, HF test from the bug out location I split the video into two parts because in total it was over 20 or 25 minutes long I've never released a video of that length before I wasn't quite sure how um, the video length would go down so I've split it for the moment so that's coming out on Friday but if I get any other videos that are 20-25 minutes long I may just release all of it in one go rather than breaking it up but uh, it's all early days for un understanding how what the appetite is on, on YouTube for longer videos yeah I'm just going to read out a few comments uh, please keep the comments coming in uh, absolutely fantastic it really keeps the channel active and, and uh, very informative for myself and for other, other viewers as well. So uh, there's a, a comment here from uh, Mick. Uh, great stuff Carl, the effort and time you spend is really working out well. Cheers mate. Great for those hams that enjoy the outdoors. I find getting all my gear in the rucksack a big challenge and it's a total plus when it falls into place. Uh, looking forward to part two of the, uh, of the video. Yeah, I've, I've I've got one of the videos I've got in the pipeline is actually looking at this um, uh, getting all the gear into a, a medium sized backpack to make it look just like normal so you haven't got poles and wires and all stuff all sorts of things sticking out of it so I've got a video coming out which just shows some of the equipment that I'm taking out at the moment uh, especially to more public places that uh, you know you can you can take it on the on the bus on the on the underground on you know on the tube on the metro in a taxi just a small backpack so i've got a video coming out looking at more backpack portable um arrangements um if it, cheers john have you tried connected packet radio i was fascinated when i actually saw this comment come in last night there's a bit of activity on 144950 now i've had a look around google around connected packet radio and there's a few websites where the, the content is slightly dated uh, but i'm really interested in this idea of connected packet radio it's almost like mesh mesh networks or something so anybody out there knows more about um, this connected packet radio please get in touch uh, I'm, I'm interested in finding out more about it and then i, I had a fantastic uh, comment uh, from brian um now it's a really he said two big uh, write-ups um which was really uh, very useful especially for people like myself who are learning about APRS and it talks a lot here about um, you know a lot of the SMS gates and the APRS links and WinLink all these things that you can do with APRS so that's it for today I hope that was useful um, please keep the comments coming in uh, please like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I look forward to the next video. So, okay, bye-bye for now.